See, that's astrology. No, we ain't going to allow them to put the cart before the horse, so to speak. You ain't going to bring Satan's version first and say, that's what the Most High was doing. No, because everything Satan requires, first thing he does is say, what did you God tell you? Oh, he said this, oh, good, right. you know me. Right. Now it's time for me to attack. Right. For me to attack, because you know right. you'll be a trophy up here. <laughs> Yeah, got this one. Yeah, right here. He thought he was something. Got him. Right. Yeah. Couldn't get Joe, but got him. Right, right. Matthew 24. We know that now. You can go down to verse 10. Yeah, yeah. go ahead. Now. All right, in verse 7. Uh -huh. Who would not fear thee, O king of nations? Uh -huh. for, the, for to thee doth it appertain. For as much as among all the wise men of the nation uh -huh. and in all their kingdoms. There is none like unto thee, but they are all together brutish uh -huh. and foolish. Uh -huh. The stock is a doctrine of vanity. See, even the stock is a doctrine of vanity. And this is just talking about any block of wood. When you look up the definition tree, it'll tell you a stock, a cross, or different things in there. A stock is, and this is what we call a totem pole. Huh? Why, why is now there's a bad push for stilettos and poles? This ain't nothing new. They used to dance around the totem pole back in them days. And it had eyes on it, it had a mouth on it, they were decorated like a man knows a stocks. A totem pole. Dancing around the pole. What's that one they had? That's another one too. Yeah. Well, yeah. He called it like type well, that, that uh, uh y'all ever seen that it's called the wicker tree. Right. Yeah. yeah. I've seen that. The, 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 the wicker tree. Yeah. Yeah. And then the wicker man. Those more they go right into the pagan origins. You feel me? And look, they right over there stopping, still doing the thing. That's right. Same exact thing. The May Queen, uh, the Maypole. The wood pole? The, the, the Maypole. The and then look, they asked me, it was some Christian, uh, 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 not converts, but uh, missionaries going over there to, to basically teach them about the ways of God. Mm -hmm. Right? The whole time, they called them little lambs. Mm -hmm. Oh, my little lambs, right? But then they go out seeing you, there's power in the blood of the lamb. Mm -hmm. Right? Mind, they called them lambs. Right. See, the lamb of God to us is Christ. That's right. Right? The Messiah. But they was calling them the Christian missionaries, lambs. There's power in the blood of the lamb. They didn't even know that they was looking at them as if they didn't sacrifice. And at the end of that deal, they sacrificed them people and ate them. Mm. Mm. And turned old girl to a mannequin. She was the May Queen. May Day. May Day. She was the May Queen. Y'all even watch that movie. The Wicker Tree and the Wicker Man. So they go right into it. They call them lambs. They like there's power in the blood of the lamb. They got all these pagans singing. They like, oh, okay, they get done with Jesus. No, they thinking God likes it. Right. And it's probably right. God blue. You don't know it, Cole. Huh? <laughs> you don't even know. Crazy, man. Wicked tree of the land. Yeah, wicked. W I C K E R. Like a wicked chair. Yeah, yeah. wicked tree. And a uh, wicked man. Then you know about that old wiggle room photo we said. Yeah. 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 What we had on that now? We in verse 8. Uh -huh. Verse 9. Uh -huh. Silver spread in the plates is brought from Tarsus and gold from Euphrates. The work of the workmen and of the hands of the founders. Right. Blue and purple is their clothing. They are all the work of funny men. But the Lord is the true God. Who is it? But the Most High, Yahweh, is the true God. See, so no matter how pretty these inanimate objects are, Yo, they got a, a feast that they do in the uh, Catholic religion where they have a statue of Mary. They actually have Gucci on her. <laughs> they carrying a Michael Ford purse right down the street. They running and kissing and touching. Crying. This is concrete. What you got, bro? You just hit us from our Catholic religion. They just popped in my head, bro. And me and uh, Ben, I me in this picture I got on my phone uh -huh. at the cathedral, okay, in, in the Catholic Church. Yes, they do a, uh, a procession called Good Friday. They got a whole doctor to to read, to show you the crucifixion of, of Christ. 
again and again. But the thing is, the whole world want to know, right? So within this kind of church, me in here for so many years, they never just really come out and see it. Yeah, Christ is black, blah, 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 right? But yesterday, my sister, within three minutes of leaving me, because I had to check if I was going to the church, but the church was for people. Within three minutes of leaving, she takes me a picture from the cathedral. Uh -huh. I got it in my phone. I can see it. I was trying to show it to everybody, right? But they had a black dude up in there with red box, and they got black kids perceiving this dude, and they began to play and the gold robe on, and, and perceiving Christ, okay? Perceiving this dude. This ain't going be. This man got the cross on his back, walking down his aisle, okay? Real talk, y'all. I wish I could say this man. And then she sent me another picture of the dude, a white dude, with a little whip, okay? And me and him standing there with the cross, just like that. Brother, brother on the cross. Real talk. Figure out what was the, that parade is called something. Guadalupe. Yes. Yeah. Oh, something. It is. I mean, it is. I mean, it is. It's a good fact. But there's a church down the street from where we had the Passover. Okay. It's around the corner from my crib called Our Lady of Guadalupe. Yeah. It's a good fact. Go ahead, Matt. What you got? I heard that. It's a lot of customs, customs, pagan orders, and popular beliefs by little whites. And uh, on page 54, it's a statue of uh, who they call Peter in Vatican City, right? But it's just a renamed, uh, a renamed God. It's actually the statue of Jupiter. And I don't hear it. They, uh, the Pope lead a procession, and they all kiss the foot of this statue. They got a record called Peter, mm -hmm. right? But it's the, it's the uh, statue of Jupiter, renamed Peter. Millions have kissed Jupiter's foot, mm -hmm. misled by popes. Misled by who? The Pope. Uh huh. And it's in right here. See the Pope in the picture above puckering up to kiss the toes of the statue. This very image was made by the Romans and was their Jupiter Colossus. It was adopted and renamed Peter. As they will explain to you if you take a tour of the cathedral. They tell you this. On certain occasions it is dressed up in rich robes. What is dressed up in? Rich robes. And crowned as you see it here and kissed by thrones of Catholic devotees. The toes are worn smooth from millions of Catholics and previous Romans who have kissed the statue's foot over the century. Y'all see this? Y'all understand this? They done wore a layer of concrete down with lips. That's idol worship, y'all. We ain't even supposed to have a black one up. Nothing yes, yes. that symbolized. I mean, you can bring one in. Oh, this is just a, a bust of Christ. You're like, that look like Denzel. <laughs> that ain't Christ. Denzel. First thing, uh -huh. the Lord is the true God. Uh -huh. He is the living God. What is he? The living power. What we just showed you on those idols are dead gods. They have to be careful. Who do you think put them on the back of that truck? <laughs> <laughs> Tell me. Our God is the living God. The God of the Egyptians, they got a book called the Book of the Dead. Boy, they stuck. That's where they stuck. That's saying all our gods are dead. Everywhere in this book from Genesis to Revelation, they say our God lives. Mm. That's right. He's the God of the dead. So let's not get that mixed up because there's a book of Ecclesiastic in here that tells you about what happens when you die. Mm -hmm. But this book talks about you're going to live again, either to damnation or to righteousness. Forever. Go ahead, now. Let's get it. And the everlasting king, uh -huh. at his wrath, the earth shall tremble. What's going to tremble? At his wrath, the earth shall tremble. See, y'all, you have to wonder why a lot of them say we don't go in the Old Testament. There's a reason. Right. <coughs> They don't want you to fear the Lord like that. Well, you will never fear it. Right. You know that rod of correction, our God just don't come in and start whooping. He's a merciful God. He gave you 10, 11, 12, 13 times. And you just keep on going, pushing the envelope. Until he have to put the smack down. Right. 
So we want to get that clear, but there's coming a final smackdown to get rid of death and the grave. Because that's what Revelation 22 say, I saw death and hell, hell which is the grave, cast into the lake of fire. So when you say somebody go to hell, you just tell them to go get buried. Right. You go to hell. Also lame clothes. <laughs> hell is the grave. The grave because there be no more death. And death itself will be burned up in the lake of fire. Christ owns a lake of fire. Now they don't tell you that in most doctrines. Because they say it's scared of people. Well, you ought to be scared. <laughs> Yeah. Like we were scared when your mama called up to the principal. Right. You went in her office and they had you the phone. It's your mama. Right. She didn't say nothing. I'm beating you when you get home. <laughs> Y'all, we gotta have that here. Go ahead, brother. Let's move on. Let's finish that. Go ahead, brother. And it's right. And the nation shall not be able right, to abide his indignation. See, the nations will not be able to abide his indignation. We're talking about nations. He's going to call the nations up. Ethiopia. It's Zechariah 14. That's right. Nation of Israel. That's going to be the first one. Romans 1 16, Romans 2 and 9 to the Jew first, and then the Gentile. Glory, honor. And the whole nine to the Jew first and then a Gentile. Tribulation, poverty, and punishment to the Jew first and then the Gentile. So we get the blessing first and we get our word in Moab first. <laughs> so the most high is, is the rest of the nations, when they see what he's doing to us, they know what to do. We just continue to be the hard-headed ones. Go ahead, Matt. What you got? Yes, okay. Okay. What you got? Verse 11. Verse 11. Verse 11. Thus shall he say unto them, uh -huh. the gods that have not made the heaven uh -huh. and the earth, right? even they shall perish from the earth. So y'all, under these heavens, all these made it up gods, mm -hmm. Buddha, sitting on the statue, putting incense right there. Probably on. He got on the camel, like you said, with incense right there. Y'all will see them in every chain wall in St. Louis. <laughs> <laughs> Going there to get some rice. Go ahead, where we at? Okay, let's look at Matthew 24. Did you have a, what you had to get? Yeah, uh, Psalms 111. What does it say? Verse 10. Uh-huh. Says, the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. Right. A good understanding have all they that do his commandments. Y'all, we see that all in Proverbs 3 to y'all. Right. If you do it, you have good understanding, y'all. Let's get that clear. Without the law, you are lawless. So y'all, we got to be clear on that. Also, Romans 4.15 said, well, there is no law, there is no sin, because sin is transgression of the law. If the law is going away, with, then there's no sin. So you need not be getting up every Sunday morning rushing. For what? If the law is gone, then there's no sin. Sin is transgression of the law. If one is gone, the other is gone. If one is in place, the other is in place. Has to be just a different high priest. Matthew 24. <clears throat> Start about uh, Matthew about uh, 29. 29. 29. 29. 29. Matthew 24, verse 29. <coughs> Matthew 29. Uh, <coughs> hey, if brother can go out and help the sisters and boys, he's bringing in a few uh, victuals. Two brothers. <coughs> <coughs> you the book of Matthew. The book of Matthew. Wait about five minutes. She says she don't think that way. So let y'all just go on up. Say about less than five minutes. So. Alright. Go ahead, bro. The book of Matthew. Chapter 24. Uh huh. I'm going to start at uh, 24. Uh, 24? Okay. <laughs> Matthew 24, verse 24. Right. But well, there shall arise false Christ. Right. And false prophet. Just had another one show up. Some white guy somewhere out of Idaho that had his way with some 10 and 11 year olds. 
Get the mother on the phone. She's saying, I still believe he Christ. Yes. Now, here he got an old rehab motel six with a Home Depot fence around us calling it the kingdom of God. <laughs> Yo, these men in Christ, we got a one that know me, Israel, over in the Demona Desert of Israel right now calling him the Holy Father in the Demona Desert sitting next to a nuclear reactor. That's Mount Seir. That land is Edomite Ville. Had another one down in Florida, Hulon Mitchell. Had been through 10 and 11 doctrines. He was a Muslim. He was a Pentecostal. His father raised him. He was a Pentecostal. He was in the Air Force. Yeah, Air Force Mitchell. Got green eyes. <coughs> and how he explains that away in the script when it says his eyes were red. He said, all my eyes are the color of all the colors of fire. <laughs> Orange and red make green. <laughs> but he wasn't even talking about the iris, he was talking about, what's that white part of your eye called? The Cilindian white part. That's the part that was red with wine. That's the part that turns red, not your iris or your pupil. These are the type of charlatan tricks that they'll throw out there because they may feel 98% of the prophecy, but they can't fulfill 100. If you know there's something, oh, he ain't the Messiah. It's plain and simple. I don't care what he do. Go ahead, brother. Matthew 24, the rest of 24. Uh -huh. And false prophets, right? And shall show great signs and wonders, right? In so much that if it were possible, if it were what possible, uh -huh. they shall deceive the very elect. So Christ is warning us that at the uh, preceding his second coming, that the devil is going to unleash tricks ain't been seen in Egypt. Mm. Tricks that went on before the world was destroyed by a flood. He coming with his whole bag of tricks. And he's going to give them the false prophets. You see the Chris Angels and the David Blaine's. Y'all, they're they are ready to stick hands through glass. And because we are people that chase a sign instead of believing what we read. Either you believe it or not. This is the first thing, ain't it? But do you believe? Let's right ask everybody, do you believe the words on here? Or is this just ink on paper? Well, if you say, yes, I believe, but you have doubt in the back of your mind, it's going to create fear. When it says we should fear our God, it's not the fear of Satan. That fear, F-E-A-R, is false evidence mm. appearing mm. real. Oh. Oh. That's not the fear he's talking about. Right. Go ahead, bro. Verse 25. Uh -huh. Yo. I have told you before. What did he say? I have told you before. Ain't that when, when you finally see the old gal old dude digging in that drawer for where the belt's at? Mm. What did he say? I told you before. Oh, yeah, I'm joking. <laughs> I told you before. Huh? It was on up. Go ahead. 26. <laughs> Wherefore, if they shall say unto you, right, yo, he is in the desert. He is in the world desert. We just said Benedict Carter, a former bus driver out of Chicago, is in the desert of Demont in right. Jerusalem, yeah. proclaiming he's the Son of Man. Now, word out, he done elevated his yeah. father to the Holy Father. Yeah. Now, it's not, 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 not. Extension cards <laughs> running from it. <laughs> <Not, not. laughs> this the kingdom, though. This is what you left here for to go to that. Pedophilia is running rampant. There's reports that he's his grandson's father. <laughs> he laid with his daughter. It's madness, man. That's the Lord, though, huh? So when you hear Israelite, don't affiliate us with that. Exactly. We are not part of that. We are part of, of the order of Melchizedek. Christ is our high priest. His law, statute, and judgment is given to him by the Heavenly Father. Yes, sir. That's what we read. Order of Melchizedek. Yes, sir. Go ahead, brother. Wherefore, if they shall say unto you, uh -huh. Yo, he is in the desert, right? 
go not forth. Right. Behold, he is in the secret chambers. Believe it not. The secret chambers, y'all. You go over to uh, some of the sun worship doctrines, and there's a man hiding in the secret chamber, like Matthew uh, 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 6 talk about when you pray, go into your closet, and when you have shut the door, then pray to the Father. Now they got another priest on the other side of that closet you go into and you tell them all your secret sins. <laughs> then you're able to pay them off. Or, like you uh, mentioned, the boy that was down in Florida calling himself the Messiah yeah. was in Leavenworth Penitentiary for 11 years <laughs> on an 18-year bid. Died of, Died of prostate cancer, not on the cross. <laughs> but then they still follow him. We got the 5,000 members still chasing him and saying the crucifixion was the government of the United States. Yeah, right. Believe <laughs> it not. Not only that, he was displayed for four days, laid out in his cast. <laughs> How long did it say Christ was in the earth? Three days. Three days. Three days. He a half a day overdue. <laughs> and he still ain't there. He's thinking. Go ahead, bro. Verse 27, uh, for as the lightning cometh out of the east, right. shineth even into the west, right. so shall also the coming of the Son of Man be. Now this sign of heaven, Christ just told us what you're going to see receive the second time. You're going to see a bolt of light that look like it's coming from Jerusalem, flying across over the toward Kansas City <laughs> at super rapid speed. Ten, probably 10,000 times the speed of light, an explosion of light from the east all the way to the west. That's the first sign. Go ahead, bro. Verse 28, uh -huh. for wheresoever the court is eaten, there will the eagles be gathered together. So right here, y'all, we got a slaughter about to happen because the eagles are gathered together. You think the eagles just gather around because they ain't got nothing else to do? Right. No, it's going to be a slaughter. The vulture's going to be there. It's ready for some flesh pit. That's Revelation 19. Y'all write that down. That's right. Revelation 19, 16. Don't die. The Lord return. He, gonna, he, he got a feast for the birds. That's right. Coming to the flesh of kings, captains, mighty men. See that? Everybody that basically went against the Lord. The Lord got a judgment for them. Christ reiterated that in verse 28. You see them dead bodies? That's what the eagle's going to be at. Mm. Verse 29, uh -huh. immediately. He what? Immediately. What does that word mean? Anybody out here? What does that mean? Uh -huh. Right now. Okay, so it said, right now, when you see that, what we gonna see next, man? Immediately. After the tribulation of those days. So after the tribulation of those days, all the things that you read back in Matthew. When it says, when this time comes, you're going to see this. It's going to be distress in the world immediately after the tribulation. So this kills the rapture doctrine. Mm. Mm. Because they teach you're going to be gone. Before, before tribulation. Before right. tribulation. Christ say immediately after tribulation. So that's either Christ coming back three times or somebody lying. We in Matthew 24, the 29th verse. Uh -huh. Matthew 24, 29. Go ahead, Immediately bro. after the tribulation right. of those days shall the sun be dark. What shall be dark? The sun be dark. Right. And the moon shall not give her light. So right here, by people who have read just this one part of the second coming of Christ, when they heard the news about the blood moon, and y'all y'all have to understand what news people do. They want you to click on and open it up. They'll say, Noah's Ark found. So as you click on it, scholars say it could be the boat. Y'all understand what they just baited you in that quick. And then they'll tell you it could be the boat. Name it on some other mount, and it's all to discredit the body. Uh, no, that's what I'm saying. It's just a hoax. I mean, they get you to open up, then they say, we saw a ship sticking out over here on Mount Everest. Well, the Bible said it rested on the mountains, plural, of Ararat. Ararat. Not just on Mount Ararat, right. but this was a super large ship, 400 feet long, 75 feet wide, 50 feet high. That's how big it was. Was that couple football field? Yep. Oh, oh. <laughs> this room about 200 feet long. Eight 
what was it, uh, so many cubits. And a cubic is 18 inches all from the tip of your elbow to the tip of your fingers. That's how they use measurement scales. So Goliath being uh, uh, six cubits and a span, six of these, from here to there, you need, or oh, six times 18 and a span is half of that. So Goliath about nine foot six. <clears throat> Go ahead. And the stars shall fall from heaven. What's going to fall from heaven? And the stars shall fall from heaven. So, y'all, we are seeing a lot of supernatural movies, y'all. They're showing, I guess, that latest Batman movie, they're showing demonic spirits jumping off of this roof. Like, with wings on their back, they'll let you know it. They're warning their people. We are getting close for the war of Christ. Yes, sir. As much as we are down here studying, there's groups of satanic and pagan worshipers wrapped in their regalia doing the same thing and chant and conjuring up their gods getting prepared for the final battle. And so for them to do that, they have to study this to know how this game plan here. Of course. They already know this. They already, they already know this. They know this is the only book on prophecy, so they are preparing for what this book says at this time. So they're getting it. When Christ cast the demon out of that boy, the demons hollered out, Are you coming to torment us before the time? You right. heard. Right. Right. Matter of fact, it's about 2,000 years ago. You heard. Right. right. Go ahead, bro. Who got what? Go ahead, Sid. Or Israelites that know who they are. 
but refused to believe the Messiah exists. Right. Saying all Matthew was made up. Right. New Testament has been tampered with, but yet you still got it under your own with the word holy, meaning completely right. devoted to one <laughs> deed. And you walk around with a tampered material. Right. No, you're a non-messianic maniac. <laughs> Go ahead.